Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Hyperion Blue Jeep Champion. Now it's time for a little custom race on Gran Turismo Sport. So, looks like two classic muscle cars joins in in GT Sport. Well, looks like definitely going on for today. So I'm probably got gonna go and start using the Ford Mustang Mac One 1971 because this car is the N300 muscle vehicle because this is definitely one of the most premium car in Gran Turismo 5 ever since in 2010 but Muscle Cars is America's favorite culture for motorsports because it has a strong horsepower and some less gear transmission. Well, evenly, some other players who use this car as their favorite because this is definitely one of the most classic sports cars ever since in the 1970s. Look at this sweet revving up engine. All warmed up and ready to go. Alright folks, looks like time for a big willow for on a morning time for it. Here we go and let's see how this old dog can rev this puppy up. Now the interior view was definitely also seen here for you. Kind of like this old school style detail, but everything is still the same for it. Well, probably this premium car never changes a bit because it was fully ice detail. But right now, taking three laps around Little Springs, and this is going to get a lot of fun easier to pass a lot of Japanese sports cars here as well. So, yeah. Probably the, the Chevrolet Corvette Stingway C3 convertible was definitely made its first enter. But probably second and third for the Dodge Challenger and the Ford Mustang Mach 1 could be part of it. But definitely it also shares with a February 2018 update. But I'm glad this car still always makes its debut appearances in the Green Grand Christmas series probably 8 years ago. A good thing this classic Ford Muscle car comes back in and join its regulations for each category. Well, probably just giving a little show differences for it. Definitely the Ford Mustang Premium Fastback also has a three tail lights on left and right. But this Mac 1 version also has two red tail lights, including a reverse one instead. Well, probably the four gear transmission definitely reached up its limits. So I might be at the hold up for it, but no need to time for a Okay, looks like this is gonna get a lot of trickier for us. And it looks like the Nissan Skyline R33 and the Ford G40 just really caught in the dirt and get back on the road. Alright, going past in. Well, probably this performance holds, it, holds up for max speed. 
high-speed transmission. Alright, well, I'll make sure I'm gonna have to win this race with this old dog to do. Just giving out a good, ordinary style of the USA. Well, not to worry. Until this end of the race, I might be able to change the transmission to you. Okay, got eyes on the KTM Expo. I'm gonna go and piece this thing up. Just hold up in the max speed of almost 110 miles. So probably, what is your favorite muscle car in Gran Turismo? Well, definitely muscle car always makes its debut appearances in Gran Turismo 1. Well, only in arcade mode, because Chevrolet only has one muscle car that was also used in the arcade mode, was the Corvette C2 Stingray, because that one's definitely one fast class A beast to conquer any cars at all here around the track, but it also has that 4 speed transmission like any other kinds of muscle car including this Mustang I'm using it. Alright, coming on over, I'm about to go and pass that KTM Expo, hold up the speed, I know how strong it is, but just gonna have to keep a watchful eye on the range. Well, I know this is definitely most, most pretty hard finding an example for it. Just giving a little slight stepping in for it. Well, probably this one is going to be in second place for it. Alright, well, that was, definitely that was a good race for driving with Fourth speed transmission, but anyway, now it's time for a little five speed transmission to get everything started for the next round. Well, probably second place earning could give a little count for it because I might really need some more credits for it. So, looks like it's time to go on over to race in for the next course. Well, probably to Time for a little race here on Northern Oxel Speedway. Just definitely giving the right time to do a little sunrise for it. Well, anyway, speaking of which, I'm just always picking American race courses because lots of cars always love American race tracks because that was definitely part of the country. So. Now we have to... Okay then, well... Time for a little up adjustment to go and fast things up for it. Okay, now might need transmissions here to add it up for. So, probably the, the fully customizable transmission could add a bit gear in it. So, looks like this is gonna be pretty good and Let's just go and get started on the short track on Northern Oslo Speedway. Just only three laps for it. So yeah, I kind of think this is definitely the most hardest race to take on three laps. Let's see how it goes.
Well, probably until the end of the tree start to go over to Human Bay. It's all about to extend some flaps. Probably 10 would be much better. I'm just going to have to use for a little quick test. See how, how it goes well to make it better performance. Well, pretty much better board, just giving a little short vantage board. Just take some of those small earnings and I'll be continuing in. So, looks like time for a little infield A on Blue Moon Bay. Because I'm glad that time for a little daytime to get ready to be on a course. Well, I hope just giving a little speed training will give a little boost for it. Because I mean, muscle cars might need to have a little fully customizable adjustment for the add of a single gear could give a little kicking in to make a better speed rate. So, time for a little infield a on Blue Moon Bay, here we go, and time for a little starting grid on the chart. Well, I hope this is going to be a lot of quicker race than I expected. So yeah, well, Whenever you go and purchasing a muscle car from a Grand Central, you might always need to have a little fully customizable transmission just in case if you really need to have more extended rods of speed. That would be much better for you instead of getting sucked up in the fourth gear on standard stock. Well, just gonna make sure for it. this performance will also need a little adjustment. But I'm glad that you guys have already did putting on some fully customizable transmission. Fit gear might be the boost for the muscle cars. That'll give one extra upgrade for it. This is going to be the hard part for it because this max speed will over exceed 1140 miles. That would be a much quicker chance to go and make a break on the first turn. There you go. Now I'll give it a little power slide. Alright, looks like that was pretty clever performing. It's time to bring this muscle car heading on over to first place and go straight to it.
All right, final lap, here I go. Time to overtake the last two strongest and 300 cars. Hope this is gonna be one big best for the kick. Well, somehow, now, muscle cars always want to be the best. Beautiful production car in every racing game series. Perhaps modern, modern cars will also need to learn this from the old dog. The old dog means definitely the classic ride. Right on the golden chart here, folks. American Muscle Cars always wants to have its best achievement. So, looks like finally got some first place earning summary. Just giving something right here, and that will be all good. So, looks like it's time to go back over to Willow Springs, and now, Time for a little race course on the streets of Willow. I might say this just giving a little evening time for having a little clear skies. Just giving a little more time to get everything kicked up for it. You know, for all Gran Turismo fans might need to have more classic muscle cars to be joining in the in the game for it. But anyway, the Toyota Supra GR concept is coming in by tomorrow, so we'll make sure we have to keep ourselves to to go and set up for some live stream whenever if everybody are willing to go and get this new Toyota. Well, definitely 20 years until now because well, Toyota company have busy studying on the new generation Supra. So I might say, I kind of think that the new Supra will become as a recent modification for it. Probably to become as the Group X, Group 4. Well, yeah, definitely it would be a Group 4. Probably a Group 3 car as well. We're just having it to cross our fingers, folks. We just want to see if the Toyota Supra is going to become as Group 4. So, looks like we're racing on the streets of Willow. Here we go. And now it's time to do some old-fashioned American race. Yikes! Can't believe it that the Toyota SFR concept concept just makes it look going up the brakes to be cautioning the device. So I might better be more careful by now whenever it reaches the full starting grid. monitor has definitely also appeared live animated but it also shows the number of distances on the bottom right 
while I'm driving this course because, well, it's never been seen here on full Friday. But yes, yeah, so I'm kind of really want to go push for it because I might need to get followed through. Okay, just passed that Mustang in the Audi R8. Watch out for some crazy objects, folks. focus on it because third lap is going much closer up ahead. Well I kinda of think that the Ford F-150 Raptor is quite going good for the track. That would be much closer to the first place if I could probably go and catch up to it. Third and final lap, here I go. All right, let's see how I can do this. Just doing this for the little kick. Has the M4 and the KTM. It's definitely much stronger than as before. in and good thing I made fairly reached on the inside turn and passed it. Oh ho snap Well that was obviously too close for it. Man, that was so close, I almost gonna win this one. So, looks like that was a lot of fun for it. Just glad that was quite pretty much difficult, folks. I'll make sure I'll have to try this again here over in the next round. All right, well, time to go back in the big willow because this one is practically good to go. All right, time for a little sunset to get ready to go doing things one more time, folks. Sport Mustang really wants to go and take a, a little rematch for the KTM Expo. Oh yeah, anyway folks, uh, my throat just feel a lot of better right now, and good thing I just feel back to normal for now. Time for a little simple, ordinary commentary to do this, so back to Big Willow, and now let's do this just one last time, just for the kicks. Because this Mustang really wants a rematch on the KTM. Oh, 
Well, looks like the Corvette really wants to go and catch up for it. Not to worry, this will do it us as Americans to win this race on the track. This is definitely quite pretty good for the Wheel of Springs. strategy for it. Hey -o. little multiple overtake in the US. Hey, successful references well definitely much similar title like the party in the USA well I think it's well you know I'm just always glad to have a little party on the race all right second lap goes in Okay, looks like I'm getting closer in for it. Time for a little dive past in. Well, luckily I could probably have to use any kind of muscle car whenever I can. This is definitely the most biggest opportunity in deep sports ever since the Grand Trisman got in Grand Trisman 6. Well, maybe other Grand Trisman games with different kinds of muscle cars ever since the Grand Trisman 2 that makes it full date. But I kind of think I should probably have to go and bring out the Dodge Challenger for the next segment. Because, well, Dodge Challenger 1971 is definitely the most classic sport. Alright, final lap. Time for a little comeback. Giving it a little more power slide, and that will be much in for now. closer in. Final turn. It's like this is going to get a lot of harder than I thought. Oh yeah, just a reminder you guys, the maintenance will begin in five hours. So it looks like the update is coming in. So might have to grab your live stream folks and this is how it goes in. I knew it's the same thing as usual, but man, time for a little round three for this one. Because this one really wants to go for it again. 
yeah, I'll make sure I'll take the second place earnings, so I might think this is gonna get much prettier than I thought it would be. So, time for a little performance judgment. Just definitely putting up on top speed at 155. That'll give it a little more boost. Alright, here we go again. Yep, I'm trying to think of it folks. I'm just gonna use the third round for it. That makes me that muscle car really want to go again. Just give me a little experimental performance equity to give me the half a chance to bring this muscle car open to first place. there, getting one pass to the expo, and... Alright, well, this is gonna be much really close. Successful pass, and straight out of the lead. Well, looks like that KTM doesn't give up, of course.
I'll make sure I'll keep him black and not black go high on the off screen sports bike. Yes, number one for this classic muscle car. That was a big successful victory for the Ford Mustang Mach 1, 1971, people. Well, muscle cars always wants to race on the American tracks to do this all over again. Yep, good thing first place earnings does give a little advantage. So, looks like that's definitely already past reaching up my daily workouts. So I might say let's just go and get a, a gift card to receive. Well, looks like a Honda Civic Type R. That would be much useful to use for this library design so I'll give it a little add all right time for a little mileage exchange color purchase time to get this yellow green blue color shift well I kind of missed out all the new colors ever since around in April but I'll make sure I'll go and catch up for it later on until by next week. The Ford Mustang Mach 1 has definitely entered Gran Turismo Sport ever since in Gran Turismo 5 in 2010. This muscle car definitely becomes a premium car also appears because this is going to be pretty much useful to be as a library design for. But anyway, just trying to make sure that bit gear transmission for having, having a little add of a top speed to give a little adjustment to speed things up for it. But don't forget, have a little power limiter and decrease the weight production to make it lighter so the car will go faster. But. It was a good muscle car folks, that's how American vehicles always love to do it, just giving one big classic ride. Well I hope you really enjoyed this video guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to click like, comment and subscribe on YouTube, check it out on HyperionBlueGTPro.DinitaArt.com and also my wiki fandom on the second link below on the description. Thank you very much, have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time to do some more racing events on Gran Turismo Sport, probably doing this on the custom race. Thank you and have a great day.